10 plus years of experience in the same domain like uh, business intelligence and data engineering side so primarily uh, so we will be focusing on power bi skill set power bi is a uh, business intelligence tool which we will be uh, learning in this training in in depth uh, like uh, starting from the basics to the end to end uh, with the real time use cases and uh, we, are, we are going to looking into that particular one in power bi so while uh, we are trying to get a job in power bi or uh, uh, when we are going to work on power bi right so we also need additional knowledge of sql server and also the data warehousing so the data warehousing is something you should know what model what is data what is they are like uh, theoretically like uh, just uh, you should have complete idea about data warehouse uh, what are the different models we have it uh, and also which model is uh, better and uh, some of the basic uh, questions we might be getting it on uh, data warehouse side so which is also being covered like in this particular data warehouse right to, uh, like a few classes which will be taken so and uh, sql and power bi is what like you can see in depth uh, training like with respect to that uh, requirements but data warehousing also i'll be covering it's more of a theoretical uh, one so so yeah the class timings will be 7 to 8 30 and this is the 33rd batch i'm taking uh uh, uh for power bi it is not the first one so previously i was also taking uh, tableau uh, also but i uh, you can also find uh, the tableau my recordings in this uh, channel okay yeah so that's it like basically yeah let us go forward but i would want to say something uh, before we start so this is a overview or a demo session right so let me go through this session completely and i will give time at the end uh, uh, for all the questions and clarifications to uh, discuss okay and uh, definitely we will go through those questions whatever you have it all the questions i will be clarified but usual sessions will be like if you have any queries so we will uh, discuss that in between also okay usual classes but this is the uh, kind of uh, demo or overview session right so that's why i would suggest or uh, request everyone uh, to ask those questions in the end okay so rather than in the in between okay so let me uh, go through uh, further yeah so this training as i said right it is it is for power bi what is a power bi so power bi is a business intelligence tool right so business intelligence means it will be giving business knowledge how it will give what is that it, it does right so why companies are you know uh, trying to use this bi tools what help it does for them right so basically we companies will have a lot of data right any business they do or anything they do right it will be having a, a, a data right so even let's say if you take uh, our uh, mobile phone also right so how many uh, like you will be making a calls uh, about that particular network provider how many users are using how much gb of the data in which region or which area like uh, the usage is more how many people are calling on which what are the peak hours people usually take more calls likewise something if they want to analyze right so they will have data but out of the data right so this is the kind of information they want it to, or they are interested to see from the data right so they cannot go to the millions of records what they have that uh, from all the users but they are really interested about the certain information from the data so that can be used uh, for them as a knowledge and that knowledge they can plan it like how they can improve their network in this case like for example mobile in this case how they can improve their network or uh, what is the peak load it happening on that like how they can how they can do it like uh, to, to give better coverage for uh, you know better concurrent uh, users uh, usage at the same time right what is concurrent concurrent means at the same time how many people it can support for that particular process or something right 
So that is uh, more or less like what is business. So it, it is like kind of anything if you could see the definition. So business intelligence is the process that help the change uh, change data into information. Whatever the companies, whatever we have it, like if you take any domain, like we will talk about the domains, everything like uh, you will get more clarity. But yeah, so data into information and information into knowledge. Right, so that information will be representing that in BI tool. So this kind of power BI tool in a pictorial representation, guys. And that particular knowledge itself, we will we will use that uh, how we can make it, uh, you know, uh, further uh, to uh, guide or to plan uh, like organization uh, uh, business strategy or how we can go forward. So those things which we can basically do that. So if you could see that, uh, right? So this is the complete flow of that, uh, you know, business intelligence uh, projects are like in a high level, if I have to explain you one by one, right? If you could see, this is the starting raw data, we get it, lot of raw data, we get it, right? Anything if you are doing, let's say, if, if you go to the amazon.com, right? And you you uh, kind of log in with that uh, your mobile application or website. You go order it, so that order get placed and get that raw data. Or if you go to ATM machine, you can go and make a transaction. That is also data gets created. Or if 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 you go and search in a website, I want this particular product. That is also uh, Google AdWords or something. You get that uh, also. Right. So if you could, if you go to supermarket and purchase, right. So in that, uh, you know, counters, right. The billing machine will be there. So that is also one of the data gets created. See any company, any domain data gets created, so that we get it like, or we store it in a, any format or any files. It it could be the raw data or initial data. What we get it. So what exactly we do it. Right, all the data it is very very essential for the companies. Right, so we do extract, transform, and load. If you could see this step here after the raw data, so before, uh, like uh, you know, we have a data warehouse. Right, so whatever the data we are getting it in the initial phase of the business or transactional business, right, so we get to move that data using extract transform and load so we also do transformations to clean up and structure the data and get that data loaded into warehouse system okay like what i'm saying is so we get this raw data and we get that moved into data warehouse system from there you know we will also get that useful information which is required for reporting for example we have, you know, millions of the data or lot of columns are there. In a table, I have uh, 30 columns are there. For my report, I need only 20 columns or 15 columns. Remaining all columns are required, but not for this report. What I will do, I can create a particular view out of the data and I can use that view for the report development. Right, so report is nothing but pictorial representation. Like if you could see, this is like a you know bar and line chart, right? So we are showcasing the data here, like with uh, uh, in, in terms of pictorial representation, right? So likewise, like not only this visual, we have a lot of visuals are there. We will see in upcoming lessons, like uh, what are the uh, what are the different visuals are there? When to use which visual? What is the purpose of each visual usage? So these are all primarily we should know like as a BI developer, we will see that in upcoming uh, lessons. OK, and if you look at here, right? So we have uh, like based on these reports, right? In the company, they will conduct the meeting or they will have the meetings like and they'll be discussing about uh, this particular using this information or reports, right? How they want to go forward in their business which method is better for them to and uh, what is that they can think about they can they can have that discussions and they can also uh, move forward in the improved strategy how they can plan it for 
And also one more thing, additional thing, apart from what we are doing it. So we can also do based on this existing data, right? So we can also do yeah, uh, uh, AI, right? Like uh, it is like, you know, um, predicting future data. It is like forecasting and uh, uh, like uh, pre uh, predicting that uh, uh, futures, futuristic uh, data based on the seasonality and uh, including those kind of, uh, you know, uh, different models we have it. So that would be mostly do, doing on the R, Python and uh, uh, those, those kind of machine learning uh, tools actually right so we kind of generate the data and again that data also we store it in the data warehouse system and the forecast data also we try to showcase in the visualizations it is a kind of a chain process if you are using this forecasting uh, uh, also okay otherwise it will be like whatever the data we have it so we will be having the data warehouse system from there we will be creating the reports this is the flow I can say within the BI uh, projects, right? And if you want to see the standard uh, project architecture, this is a flow, but if you want to see the product uh, project architecture, uh, how it looks like. Uh, so basically, like we have the source system. The source can be in any company, right? So the source can be based on the business, business they, what they plan or what they use it. Right, so they will they will be maintaining the data or they will be having the source systems like different different systems for different different business or within the same business also same line of business also they might maintain the source systems uh, in different different uh, locations different different databases also right so likewise different sources we will be having. So what we will do it, we will uh, get that data, whatever the different sources are there, right? Through ETL. Again, what is this ETL is? Extract, transform and load. So apart from the uh, BI, right? Like we are a BI team. So database team will be there. So the, that particular database team, they will be primarily working on the, as a ETL developer. What is the data is? They'll create a jobs to get this uh, data picked up and loaded into data warehouse system on a regular basis. Right? So it's a one time activity for them to create the jobs and uh, to make them schedule so that every day it will go and pick up the data and load it into the warehouse system. And from that, uh, whatever the data we have loaded, right? So we will be connecting with the BI tools like Power BI or any other BI tools and we can create the reports out of it, right? So we have different data sources coming up through ETL. So we have created the jobs. ETL means extract, transform and load. If you could see extract, transform and load through ETL, right? So we'll be getting the data uh, taken into ODS layer. ODS means operational data source. So ODS layer is what like we will be storing that particular uh, uh, copy of the data. And from here, so we will also do every step will involve ETL guys. From here to here also we will have ETL. So where we will be uh, getting the data, required data into the data warehouse system. And the MDM it is archival. For example, for my reporting, I need only latest five years data or three years data. Remaining other data we have it right in our business. So we will uh, uh, keep it in archival database called metadata repository or MDM. So kind of databases we will uh, keep it over there. If required in future, I want latest 10 years data. Then we will have a source at least like here like to pick up or to get that particular information. OK, to the warehouse and we can use that information to create the reporting. So like uh, some of the pro uh, from this, right? Like we can also see like here data mart is there. What is meant by data mart? Data mart is nothing but subset actually. Like uh, see, we're trying to get that data. Uh, everything in the warehouse system, complete data available uh, 
in this warehouse system. From there, we will be creating the data merge also with respect to the project and specific uh, domain of the data. For example, so in a in a company, right? If you, if you take about a company perspective, so we will have data for uh, uh, human resources. HR database will be there. Marketing will be there. Law, if it is a manufacturing company, logistics, supply chain, sales team. So likewise, different different te teams will be there, right? So which uh, we will have it. So each team wise, we will have a separate separate data mart created for their reporting analysis. And then we will be creating that uh, connecting with the data mart and create the reports. Some projects it will be different. So there are different different perspectives, but this is a standard architecture. I'm just studying for most of the projects, but however, this architecture also will be changing from uh, you know project to project. We will discuss those things in, in detail, like on upcoming uh, lessons also to have a better understanding. So all this while, what I was saying is, what is a business intelligence tool? So what is the use of it? And then I was telling you in a, in a pictorial representation, how is the flow? And this is the detail about like with respect to the project. If you look at the data, right? Like I was telling about like something ATM mission or uh, Amazon.com or something like, you know, uh, yeah, so mostly the, uh, like uh, telecommunications also, right? When we do the phone calls like that. If you could see with the three examples, Amazon comes under e-commerce domain. And ATM, whatever it is there, I was saying about that is comes under financial domain. And if you look at this phone calls and whatever the stuff, it is telecommunication domain, telecommunication, right? So it is like, you know, we have three kind of uh, domains are there uh, as of that examples, but I'm telling you, so when, you, when we apply for a job, right, we might get that job on any of the domain. It is not specific to financial or e-commerce, right? It is like I could say, right, mostly we get it on financial, e-commerce, food and beverages, manufacturing, and healthcare. These are the domains only at India. I can say most projects uh, will be on that domains only. OK, so if I have to talk about. Uh, uh, this one, right? So we don't need uh, any domain specific knowledge to work on Power BI reporting guys. So let's say if you want to create the reports or if you are if you are a Power BI developer, if you want to create a reports, right? It is need not requirement like you have to have a domain knowledge. Domain knowledge is not required. So only that technical knowledge like about Power BI, if you have it, you can, what is that you can do it is, what is the business objective? Why you, ha you have to create that report? So what does it help to the business with this report? You should have understanding, bit understanding about this one. OK, is it clear? So it is like, you know, you should have some understanding about that uh, and uh, based on that, right? So we can easily, you know, uh, move forward. OK, so it is like if you have that understanding, then you will un analyze the data. Then based on that uh, requirement, right? Objective or requirement. We will be going ahead and create the you know a report out of it. So what in all it involves in order to create the report is something we will see. I will take a Power BI tool and I will open it and I'll show you like how how it looks like or how, what is that kind of work we are going to do it. In practically we will see in few minutes, OK? But I'm telling you these are the different kind of domains. We might get the data, right? So let's say if you get a job and if if their client is on financial or insurance, right? Then you will have to work on that kind of domain kind of data. You might get it. So within the financial also, right? You might get HR data will be there. HR team will be there. They will also have data and you will be creating their also reports if required. And application management data, they will be having different applications. Like uh, if you take uh, any of the banking, right? They will have net banking application. 
how is that application running on different places, different regions, right? So those kind of data, like there will be some survey or some feedback will be there from the customer. This application is not working kind of thing. That is also kind of data we can we might get it. It is not about like all thing, all the things like bank. Uh, we will be working with the bank accounts. Likewise, it is not like that in a in a project. We might get the different uh, data also, but uh, a, you, uh, like more or less the client is financial client, but data what we work inside is there will be different teams will be there within that also. Right, so financial means like we will be like having insurance or something. So cash management will be there. So cash management team, what they do, like what is the cash available, like which accounts having which cash and what are the payments to be done. Lot of things they will be just doing it like in that. So here in banks also, right? End of the day, what is the uh, opening balance? What we have it? Uh, what was the previous day balance? Is there any transactions happened? Then that kind of data it is reflecting properly or not in the accounts, right? So it is like about everyday balances, right? What we see it like on the accounts. Let's say if you have a account, any any bank account, you just go with, and you will uh, see every day it should show the balance, right? So those applications are showing balance because backend there is a database is there in the database that amount has been stored. And those applications are built to pick up the data from the source. Right? So let's say if you make a transaction, let's say you do phone pay, right? So it has to deduct from that particular one. It has to show a respective balance. So likewise, it happens. All those things uh, will be there. Like most of the applications, what we have it like here. So manufacturing, what are the raw materials purchasing happening? What is the transportation cost It happened? So likewise, if you want to make you understand like on a high level, so we will also have a project classes, right? Like what kind of reports on any of the domains? I will uh, take uh, two projects also like financial domain one project, like what kind of overall uh, perspective, like what reports they will be looking at and also like uh, manufacturing one. So likewise, you can represent these kind of projects in your resume and you can you can even apply for the jobs. Right, so this is the uh, about like uh, domains of the data and if you look at end to end workflow again, the same thing here what we have seen it in a high level project specific. So what is there? We are the end actually end means like from the data what we have it as a BI team or visualization team, right? So we will be creating the reports out of it. And we will have a database and we have a ETL. ETL means extract transform and to load. It is an integration tool, data integration tool. So whatever the data sources we have it, like we will get the data and uh, with the help of ETL tool, this is a ETL tool, one tool name I have specified and the database and the W. W is a BI tool, another, another BI tool. And this is the power bay. So for it is not like I'm selling. You could see there is no only one ETL tool available. Talent only it is or informatica only nothing like that. Like we have, we you know hundreds of uh, brand uh, brands of mobiles are there right in the market. It is not like everybody we use same phone right. Like we, everybody we don't use uh, you know maybe the phone we don't use Samsung or iPhone iPhone everybody is using means no, we cannot use it, right? It is our choice. Some people will like Android. Within the Android also, some people will take different, different uh, brand of uh, mobiles and with respect to their needs of specifications, right? Same way in the projects also, we have a lot of ETL tools are there, a lot of uh, storage uh, uh, like databases are there, lot of BI tools are there, right? So there are a lot of things are there. So they can choose their own uh, required ones for their project. But I can say one thing about Power BI is, so we are doing this Power BI training. Power BI is a business intelligence tool, right? Out of all the BI tools in the market, 
right? So Power BI stands number one position for last five years. For last five years, there is no other uh, tool also very near to Power BI. And the second place is Tableau, I can say. And uh, mostly like uh, Power BI and Tableau are the number one and number two. So if you have to say number one, number one last five years was uh, Power BI and before five years was Tableau. After Tableau now, Power BI has come and it has reached to that, you know, maximum extent like uh, supporting uh, BI solutions for most of the uh, companies. Okay, so that's the market we have it in this one. If you could look at, I don't have to lie anything. You just go to this uh, Gartner uh, website. There is a website called Gartner. Okay, this is even not updated like with the latest year. Uh, in 2022, if you could see, right? If you compare with Power BI and Tableau, right? Which one is better? So if you could see uh, 2015, Tableau was number one. And Microsoft was there, Power BI was there here, third position actually. But if you look at today, like as on last year, so we have, you know, Power BI number one standing and also like uh, Tableau is standing on the second position. And recently Tableau has been taken, like uh, it was, uh, it was been acquired uh, by the Salesforce company. Salesforce is also a brand where they have a, uh, uh, they were more into data engineering side. Uh, they were not having good BI tool. So the, now both are combined as one entity. And they're use they're having that. So that's like a sales force Tableau. But uh, 2015, it was only Tableau. Right, but number one position is like Microsoft Power BI. You can also search, check this information in Gartner website. Gartner uh, B top BI tools, you can you can even search it and you will find the same information also. Every year you can you can get that to see. And this is like basically how it has been given, right? So ability to execute and completeness of vision based on these two parameters or two metrics, right? So this particular tool is number one in the market. There are other tools also there, like I said, right? Like we have a lot of uh, ETL tools are there in the market, storage uh, databases are there in the market, and BI is also there. Out of this, so number one position is uh, Power BI. Okay, so and also I would say like uh, how is the scope for Microsoft uh, uh, skills is like always it's on, on demanding and I can say. So because if you look at this SSIS, right, around 20 25 years back onwards we have a stable requirements even today also people are using ssis etl tool so that is a kind of uh, market uh, 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 like which is there for ssis etl tool but they slightly they have moved into cloud space also microsoft they also have cloud based uh, uh, etl tool called azure data factory is there Right, so which means they have on premises and also cloud platform, also same kind of products are there. Like for reporting, also Power BI, we have uh, on premise, we have it, and cloud is also they have it. I'll tell you what is on premise, what is cloud, so what is the use of on premise and cloud. So we are going to take that also in upcoming uh, lessons. Like, uh, but just to tell you, uh, Microsoft had SSRS BI tool. Right, so uh, like uh, that was not uh, supporting proper uh, BI solutions previously. So that's where they developed this Power BI tool, and most of the customers of uh, SSRS has been uh, you know uh, moved into Power BI space. Like they have done the migration from SSRS to Power. Power BI and also we have data modeling tool is there data modeling tools uh, within here and also uh, Power BI data set is there. There is something called Power BI data set which is new to the market. Uh, that is also uh, one thing uh, for uh, people to use uh, Power BI data set also. Okay, so one more thing that is also it is there like I'm just telling you like uh, 
Power BI data set is also there. So where we can create a model and we can deploy it and we can use that uh, particular model uh, for reporting purpose also. OK, so this is like, you know, I can say uh, why Microsoft skills, right? Like uh, people are preferring for the projects. One example I want to take you is. So here Informatica is the ETL tool. ETL tool Informatica is there. Right in the market, Informatica is the number one tool in the market. ETL tool side, not the BI, right? So even though it is a number one, people using Informatica is very less. Because it cost is more. I mean, the license cost is more. And also Informatica individually, they want to take it only for that, right? So uh, think about if you're using Informatica, that's fine. It is a number one tool and it supports good for ETL. It is fine. But if you want to go for BI solutions. Or storage solutions, they don't have options. Right? So what people do it is for better accessibility and better, uh, you know, configurations and everything, maintenance, everything. Most of the projects they will go with everything Microsoft. When I say everything Microsoft, they will be using ETL tool, Microsoft, data modeling, Microsoft, reporting, Microsoft. They will even get more discount also if they're using all from Microsoft itself for, for data engineering and BI solutions, right? So that is the thing I can say about uh, usage or preference towards Microsoft uh, skills. And within the Power BI, if you look at, so we have Power BI desktop is there, guys. Power BI desktop is there. It is a standalone tool. We can easily install it. So what I will do is in upcoming lessons, how do we install Power BI and what are the different kind of, uh, you know, like how to create a license uh, 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 account for Power BI, we can, we can do that. And even like, you know, uh, we, were, we are going to see end to end in upcoming lessons, but I'll tell you the flow of our training path also, how we are going to take it. So accordingly, we will be moving on forward. OK, so like if you could see Power BI desktop is the one. So we are going to use it like for, you know. For end to end development of the reports. As a developer, right, we will be using this Power BI developer. So we connect with the data and we create the reports. So we will see all these things at this moment. You will not understand, but I, I, I'm sharing right like for the collab, collaboration purpose, like whatever the reports we develop in Power BI desktop, right? If you want to uh, share it for the business users, we will not going to share in Power BI desktop. We publish that developed report into the Power BI server or Power BI service. Right, and there we provide the access to the people. So it is, it will be always Power BI service. We use it like uh, uh, to get that uh, uh, you know uh, access or collaboration for the other users. Right, and we have two things are there within here. So Power BI, uh, Power BI. Power BI report server, we have one. And Power BI service is also there. Right? So I'll say, uh, and we, we will discuss all these things in uh, regular sessions. And Power BI service, we have it like one more service. So mostly nowadays people are using uh, Power BI service. Okay, Power is the cloud solution. Okay. The cloud, cloud space where uh, uh, it will be done, right? It will be used uh, cloud space, and we will be using that cloud space to uh, publish our developed reports, and we will be using it. Okay, so that is more about uh, this one. 
and features and all it will, this will be various like because power bi is will be always it is they are developing it uh, because this power bi desktop i can say every month we will have a new version of power bi which will have a new new features and the additional uh, uh, add on uh, functionalities added within the power bi if there are any existing bugs are there they'll try to fix it all those enhancements and developments are still going on from the beginning that they have launched around 2015 was the initial version it got launched for power bi from that uh, period right we have every month uh, mostly we have a new version of power bi which is having new new features or new things which they are enhancing and adding so that is why power bi is still number one position in the market getting those new new features and everything and we have licenses also is there pro license and premium license it's a free which we just skip it so we'll talk about this license also what is there in which license and we will we will see that in upcoming lessons okay just to tell you like this is the power bi uh, interface or the tool guys right this is the interface or the tool i could say about um, just to uh, talk about this is the power bi desktop is the developer tool which we are going to use it right let me open this application power bi application it is already installed in my machine right so that's why i'm just uh, see it's application we have to like we will we will see that like how do we install this one and all i'm going to explain that but let me open this application newly right so this is the tool which is which i'm trying to open it so that is taking a few seconds of time to install that uh, power bi yeah let us see that so we're going to see like how we can we can get that uh, how we can create a report uh, before that there is a question what days uh, the classes will be on the classes will be on uh, on monday to friday every day monday to friday like only weekdays it will be there not on weekends okay so that is the question which i have asked uh, which somebody asked is clarified just to go through this particular one right so it's it's still opening yeah it is a standalone application it is very simple to install this power bi tool it, it is matter of three four minutes it will take uh, to get that installation process there is no multiple steps also so when we get into this power bi tool right this is the tool or interface what we get it initially to do that and you could see if i have to tell you in a high level so this is the report session right now we are there in report session and this is the data view data what data we can see we can see that and data model means like this is the model view so this model uh, it will have that uh, relationships between the tables everything will be there and it, this is the data which we can see it and this is the report tab and here in the right side we can see the data uh, like visualizations we can see like we have around uh, by default uh, uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 36 40 visualizations we can see it if you want more visuals so we can get more visuals also uh to the power bi like there are a lot of custom visualizations are there which we can use it but by default we have 40 visuals are there so we can use this bar chart and create a bar chart likewise right i will also explain when to use which visual everything we, we will take that sessions also okay and if you could see data nothing is there you have not loaded any data in order to load the data we have to use this get data guys get data right so we have to go to the get data and let's say if you want to load it from sql database like i was showing you right like here in this particular slide yeah, this is the SQL database, right? If you want to connect with the SQL database, connect uh, and load some uh, data, then we have to give the server name and database name to start with. Right? 
so at this moment let me just uh, okay i don't have a uh, data a server name handy let me just open this database name there i will find the server name or uh, what i could do it is right i can cancel this i can go to this recently recent data sources and whatever it is connected database right i can use that database this is the server name dells uh, slash sql server uh, underscore uh, uh, nu that is the server name i can provide that serve i can connect click on this and it will directly establish the connection directly to me right otherwise we we can go with manual process also uh, to do that particular one see whatever that uh, uh, database right which we are trying to connect so what data we have it like we can we can try to connect with that data and create the reports okay so my database it is still taking uh, time to open otherwise uh, idle process would be like let's say initially like we have to go to the get data here sql server for example in your project if you have sql server database then we'll go with sql in your project if you have any other database let's say if you have uh, uh, like we can go with more option also and we can see that but let's not go in detail now but sql server let me go with and you could see i will have to give the server name let me take this server name so we can even connect with uh, on premise or cloud also but yeah let me give the database name it's optional which means i can directly go okay and i can say choose the database also let me go okay and here if you could see lot of uh, databases are there out of which i want to connect, uh, connect with data dw data warehouse uh, database so in that a lot of data is there. let's say i will connect with this order table order table one and uh, yeah so one table is fine let me load it i can also select other tables and load it at a time but i'm not doing it i just loaded one table right so see it is creating the data and loading into model in the right side right it will come that data see it has come that table so we can also get the data loaded from excel also guys excel also if you have that any excel uh, downloaded right so we can also get the data from excel connection also but i'm telling you there are a lot of options we'll discuss in upcoming lessons like what kind of data sources we have it let me load uh, people data from excel okay load it done see so orders is from sql i have loaded people is from excel we had an excel i had an excel i just uh, uh, click on this particular one like excel get data and uh, excel workbook and i have got this data loaded right so this is how it will be looking like in the data side so within that table we can see what columns we have it it will be displayed uh, here also it will be displayed okay and uh, yeah we'll see like other options in detail but yeah let's go to the second tab see so it will show us like the underlying data right so it will be showing the underlying data in detail about that metadata i can say and you could see there is an issue here what is the issue like you can find it here is uh, the person and region is there right they are they are supposed to be the column headers but they are no they are there in the first row if you have any problems in the data also right we have something called transform data is there so that is like uh, to work with uh, you don't have to write any code but uh, you can fix those issues or you can transform and structure the data it is a kind of a mini etl tool available within power bi so we can do transformations you can i can fix that using this use first row as headers so i don't need to write any code but i can just make use of these options to fix this i can say close and apply to come back out of those things right so there is an advantage like if if your data is not proper we can transform and structure the data also using this particular transform option and this is the place where we can see that you know data window where uh, 
So what data we have it, which we could uh, see it. OK, so that is like a thing. And if you could see this is the modeling tab. So where if you could see uh, there is a, a relationship established between this, right? So that could be done uh, using this particular one. OK, so. So that is about uh, this particular uh, uh, model data model tab where we can create the relationship between the tables, right? And let's go to the report tab. This is the main tab, right? So let's say I'll just pick up one bar chart. And you could see I can it will be simple drag and drop. I just dragged the region. And drag that particular sales or selected that see so we can see out of a bar graph representation. Right, so we can also look about formatting stuff, everything which we can uh, look at with here. So, so here I could say title uh, is there and also the value is what we have it. I want to increase this. OK, this is X axis. Right, so likewise Y axis is there and we can increase the font size. See, so it is like more more better visible. So likewise, we can also create the report. Let's say when if you want to create like with another chart, I can get that another chart also. And I can get that created so like so. Product category wise. Profit. Likewise. Not like everything measures. It is like simply drag and drop. We are supposed to create the measures also on our own based on the business requirement and we can do it that those things and all we will be learning it in upcoming uh, lessons also. So we can also use the line chart here like to represent the trend of that data. Let's say I'll take the year and also we have the sales taking up. And also if you want to specific with uh, segment wise. I can also add that data to the legend and you can see the line and this one. So likewise, we can keep on building this visualizations. We, as I told, right, we will have a separate session where why I'm taking this chart, why I'm taking this chart. There should be a reason for it. So everything we will learn it like in upcoming uh, lessons. Uh, so moving forward, right? And once we develop these reports or once the development is completed, right? So, so we're going to save this report. I can just say, save this report as a demo. Or I can just say like uh, create one folder. Demo file and uh, if you could see. I can go ahead and click on this publish report online so I can go ahead and publish it and uh, publish it in one of the workspaces what I have it right so like this. So once we publish it, uh, it is like I'm publishing into the Power BI service or Power BI server, right? So it's done. So I can go ahead and click on this link or if I want to go to this uh, right. Uh, any browser, I can go and uh, sign in with that account and uh, and users can see it. Like for example, it is a web based basically. Let me click on this link. Uh, it will also open the same thing. See, it is trying to open that particular one. It is like app dot power BI. It is a power BI cloud. So we just uh, go on to power BI cloud. And you can see that report now like we can even go to the full screen mode and we can see it like when I click on this East. I can see the similar uh, filtering of that East itself. Right, so likewise it's an interactive dash interactive report from visual to visual, but we can also add the slicers for business users they can select with. All these things. This is the cloud's place, uh, cloud place, what we are there right now. So, this is the end to end what uh, we would be doing, but lot 
what we have to do it is we have to understand end to end about this bi tool each and every options right even i have five plus years of experience within power bi tool it doesn't mean that i will be working on different tool or differently even that five years experience what i have it like in this particular tool right i will be using this B, uh, power bi desktop to create this uh, data and representation everything so that knowledge, I'm going to share it for you, right? You as a person, you doesn't know anything about Power BI, but I'm giving complete knowledge uh, with the real time use cases, which I have uh, come across on different, uh, uh, you know, five years of experience, different, different project experience and different, different uh, options. Like, for example, there is a one option is there that same option, how we can use it in different ways. Like that kind of knowledge, I give it so that uh, according to your project, you can try to use that uh, particular options for uh, developing the reports accordingly, right? So uh, I, I'm, I'm going to cover the real time use cases as well, like in upcoming uh, lessons. So that's more about this particular BI tool and uh, demo of it. OK, and when we move on to this particular one, so this training, right? Right, so this training basically like uh, what is the roadmap of this training is first as I was telling you, right? So I'm going to take the data warehousing concepts, right? So what is data warehousing? If you, if you look at this particular screen, right? So what is data? What kind of models we have it? So in data, small, small terminologies are there. Those also some people are testing in interviews also. Right? Or uh, what are the models are there? Those also people are asking. Even though you work on Power BI, so that is also basic knowledge required for a, a BI person or business intelligence developer. So we're going to start with the data warehousing. It will be more or less uh, two to three classes, and then we will go with the SQL Server in detail uh, in detail about like, how do we install SQL Server in your laptop, and then uh, how do we uh, create a database. How do we store the data and also um, right? So uh, with respect to the reporting requirements, how we are going to create our uh, required data in particular views and uh, and how we are going to use that information and then getting started with Power BI right end to end. We will be seeing like how uh, today we have seen it right demo session small. How do we get the data? Likewise, each and every options in this tool, I'm going to go through that and explain it with real time use cases also. Right, and there are some of the supporting tools for Power BI also, right? So we have something called Power a Tabular Editor is there and also Power BI Report Builder is there. So those also I will be covering it part of this training so that you will have uh, you will be knowing all the related Power BI tools also. Uh, which is required for uh, some of the projects they might be using it. Also, I'll be taking through when to use which visuals. It is like when I say Power BI end to end. So this is also a part of that end to end. So Power BI usage of visuals. So we have 200 plus visuals are there. So you should know as a BI developer when to use which visual, right? I'll take uh, not like detail, like uh, all the visuals is not required. At least maximum, at least I will be covering around 40 uh, to 45 visuals. When to use visual? Those are like most common, uh, uh, commonly used visuals in most of the uh, projects, right? I'll be covering it and also I'll be using that. I'll be covering, uh, you know, DAX functions. So in this training, right, DAX is the backbone of this particular training or course. I can say that, right? So, so why? Because so like simply I was dragging and dropping and I'm creating this report. Simply I dragged it like what is that I dragged it to create it. Region I dragged it and also sales I dragged it and it is showing region wise sales. For example, the sales only I want to see current year sales. Not the complete sales. Complete sales means when I drag the sales, it will give complete sales. I want to create a measure which will give which will give only current year sales. Are you getting it what I'm saying or no? 
So it is like that. Uh, so we will be applying certain uh, filters and create that measures with respect to that business requirement using the DAX functions. I can honestly say that like um, most of the other training places, training institutes, nobody covers around 230 functions with example, real time examples. OK, and this is the backbone because we are required to create the measures and drag and drop and create the reports. If you don't, if you simply if you're expert in drag and drop. Then you cannot work on Power BI. You should be knowing, you know, what is that? Uh, sorry. You should be knowing the DAX functions to create the required columns, measures and use that. Uh, uh, in the report development, DAX means data analysis expressions, right? So I'm going to do, go to this Microsoft website and I'll, I'll uh, go through each of the function and I'll cover that with the examples. OK, and we're going to see about like Power BI server or service. So this after development, right? We publish the reports and their server, uh, how it looks like. What is the complete knowledge of server? I'm going to explain that. And also I'll give real time project development class and also I will give the project notes also to speak in, in the interview. I will also give the resume class for you to create the resume and do that. So real time project explanation and also that uh, notes also uh, real time project notes. I can say this one. I will give it for for interview purpose. interview purpose this one like I'll I'll give two uh, two projects notes where you can speak in interview also and this real time project explanation class which will help you like to have clear understanding about that. So this is the roadmap of our training. Uh, it is going to take place, but uh, along with my regular classes, I'm going to ask uh, every day like mock interviews I'll be taking. Mock interviews. Uh, I will take it uh, so that uh, those are the interviews, uh, interview questions I'll be asking you based on that knowledge which I have already given on those particular classes. Let's say tomorrow one class I have taken. Day after tomorrow I'll ask questions on that particular class to cover that interview questions, right? I'll be asking everybody to ensure that, uh, you know, everybody in sync and go on with that, right? So that is how I go with and I will also share Power BI dashboards for hands on practice. Uh, I will share around uh, 30 to 40 reports uh, where you can uh, sit and practice yourself uh, to get that hands on experience on uh, developing the reports and I will be recording these sessions. Now also I'm recording this. I will share this recorded uh, session of this uh, today's session uh, for everyone uh, available for free. OK, this will be available, but uh, other other recorded classes from tomorrow, those will be uh, provided access for the registered uh, candidates only. Those who has registered, so they will have access and the access will be there from the start date. From today, it will be eight months. Or it will be from the training end date, it will be six months, so it will be like that. From today, it will be eight months. I can I can say that is the uh, you know period it will be given that recording access to you. OK, and I will be providing end to end materials, which is no limit. You can you can download them and you can keep it for your uh, entire your, uh, time like future. There is no restriction on the access for that. And uh, with respect to the placement support, I do placement support also for uh, like uh, for uh, girls and boys, both of them I, I do it. Right. Somebody to want to understand more in detail about this placement support. You can feel free to reach out to me for this particular number. How does what kind of support I do it like how it will help you just to get uh, uh, idea about the placement uh, support process. Right. And it is not like I'm new to this uh, training or first batch. I'm giving nothing like that. So I'm being given this training last uh, uh, around four years plus, right? You can find me uh, on Google also. You can see that reviews when it has started also. 
like from the people you can you can see that uh, with this so i have given this particular one so so previously it was like offline and online trainings i used to give it but now this is only online but however i am just giving this particular location uh, or uh, this particular one where you can go and see that reviews when it has started when i have started it's not like i'm newly starting this training okay so that is the thing which you can uh, talk uh, see about and you can also subscribe to this uh, subscribe to this particular channel youtube channel you can search with corporate i mean this logo is different i can say corporate uh, trainer uh, navin there is a channel name called corporate trainer navin so if you can go to this particular channel name this is the channel name you can see and you can see the playlist right so there are a lot of uh, recordings available for that respective teams and also you can see a lot of uh, other recordings also uh, available you can you can even uh, find the, the particular things in this particular channel okay if you want to uh, go through that you can even go through that from this particular uh, channel okay so this is the road map and uh, the training stuff what i have it so now um, so apart from the placement support if you have any other qu queries placement support you can individually you can reach out to me i will be clearly explaining you about the process but uh, however if you have any other questions on any anything any generic questions or any questions feel free to ask me now so this is the time for your questions Uh, sir, uh, in Power BI, do we have formulas like Excel, uh, which we need to apply? Yeah, so I can say if you have uh, already some idea about Excel, Excel, that will be great because the in this right we have around 250 DAX functions are there, and uh, some of it I can say some of it in the sense uh, around 100 functions we have it from Excel only. Similar. Excel functions. OK, uh, similar like we look up H look up those kind of things. Huh? Yeah, we look up is not there, but similar to we look up. We have another function here like that. OK. OK, if you are already aware about Excel functions, definitely it will be plus to you to learn this training and also somebody coming with a SQL background like some SQL idea you have it. So there are also some SQL functions are there, right? In SQL also same Excel functions we have in SQL also some functions. So that is that is also uh, one advantage for you, like uh, that one. But I'm saying uh, like uh, uh, if you don't know anything also, you don't know anything, you are zero on anything. So still I'm there to explain you. But only thing is somebody already know that things but that is good for you for them but yeah for you if you don't know anything you just have to put little more efforts to uh, in the learning that is what i can say okay uh, i have a question yeah uh, how there. much of the sql language you will be covering before going to power bi so basically right ideally like uh, what is uh, going to be covered is like so i'm not uh, touching uh, this etl layer so how do we create objects and how do we load the data so we basically we have uh, something uh, categorization is there ddl dml and dql is there all the ddl dml and dql commands everything will be covered so for our power bi right so we need a dql query language where I want to test my report. For example, I create some report, right? So let's say I just created this report like a few minutes ago, right? Just now, let me just go to that report. I just created this report. Whether this report is correct or not, whether these numbers, whatever we have created is correct or not, right? In order to test it, we need that SQL. We want to write that SQL queries, right? So uh, that querying part, uh, definitely uh, it will be covered and also interview purpose. There are some questions which will be asked in interview in SQL side. Let's say some basic questions like let's say I want top uh, fifth salary from this table. Or 
I want to do like uh, each uh, department wise top first one I want it. Or something like uh, interview based questions are there. So those kind of questions also will be covered apart from those DDL, DQL and ML command. And also for any of the BI reporting, right? Or any any uh, of the uh, projects, right? So we will be using the views, not the tables. So why? Uh, why is that? I, I'm going to explain that in detail how to create a views and everything. We will see that like in those questions. So that's how it is covered. And I also give that uh, some hardly some uh, I can say 10 topics are there advanced topics of SQL. If you want to go through that advanced topics of my recordings, you can go through. I can provide that recordings, but I'm not covering that because morely, more or less that is not relevant. Uh, that's what I was covering previously, but I give the recording if required for you. Advanced concepts of SQL. OK, so which will help you like uh, if you if you are good on that complete advanced topics and the basic what are basic means like mid level of what I'm going to cover it. If you have both the knowledge, you can even apply for SQL jobs also, database uh, uh, developer also. Not only Power BI jobs, you can also apply for SQL jobs. OK. And how many uh, weeks is this course going for? Sorry? How long this course will be? For how many weeks? See, like mostly, like usually, like I can say uh, we will have 40 sessions will be there. 40 sessions and uh, the training will be on weekdays only Monday to Friday. Right? So when I say Monday to Friday, if you calculate 40 means around uh, it will be taking two months. 20 days in a month and another month 20 days. So 40 to 40 days is the classes usually. But it depends like right? some some batch, right? So I might take one extra class also 41, 42 also. Right, so sometimes SQL SQL server uh, some batch it will be delayed because like they are not able to take it like uh, too fast. So I just go with the more examples and uh, go ahead there. But Power BI mostly people easily understand it is easy and uh, whatever I give examples they don't find difficult. So SQL is something I just uh, bit uh, take one or two more classes extra based on the. Team to team, I mean uh, that uh, batch to batch. Any other questions, guys? Uh, like anybody has any other questions to ask? And the class timings will be 7 a.m. to 8.30. So this is the timing which uh, I'm taking like, like from mostly, uh, right? There is no other uh, batches like evening or nothing. I don't have it. So I can, I'm able to take it and manage my office timings and do that classes only this time only. OK, and if you have no other questions, then we are good to wind up this uh, session and uh, we'll yeah, continue yeah. Uh, from tomorrow. So from tomorrow, right? Uh, I will start with the data warehousing concepts. It's like more about uh, two days, two or two, three days, uh, theoretical question, theoretical topics which I will be covering. But those theoretical concepts we are going to see more in practical in SQL and also Power BI desktop whatever we are going to cover it in theoretical. So that will be covered in upcoming uh, SQL Server and uh, Power BI uh, desktop sessions. OK. I think somebody was asking the question, any SQL project we cover? So uh, in SQL, right, I will be taking to one of the architecture like uh, so that will be covered over here like in that. OK, so part of SQL, it will be covered that. So. How many weeks I am already told this answer. So that's the thing. Any other questions before I close this? Anyone has any questions? See like uh, today, like a lot of people are there, but uh, mostly uh, from upcoming right like from tomorrow, I will strictly uh, uh, like uh, have this session at, uh, can attend it only for the registered people, right? 
and like uh, those whoever is uh, coming from sanjay right so please connect with him and uh, let me stop this uh, recording